today, Flynn has another doctor's appointment. So we are going to get some stuff checked out. Everything is okay, no worries, but he does have a little doctor's appointment. So we're gonna go do that. I got my IV this morning and I didn't have it for three days. And I was feeling pretty good. I mean, I was a mess, but I was okay-ish for me. I feel like yesterday I told Eric, I was like, I feel like I need to appreciate today because I got really nauseous at the beach and almost threw up, but I didn't. And then there are multiple times today where I needed to lay down because I was gonna faint, but I didn't. And I felt pretty gross, but it's like not the worst I've ever felt. And I can breathe and I can kind of walk a little bit today. Like the pain's not too bad. So I feel like I should appreciate how good today is. <laughs> So that was a good day for me yesterday. So I was like trying to appreciate it because I know it's gonna get really hard. I'm trying to appreciate those good moments because I know I'm gonna look back on these days where I'm like not feeling good, but like still able to laugh and smile and talk. And I'm gonna like be like, remember when I thought that was hard because I know it's gonna get harder. I'm trying to like appreciate those moments. But then I jinxed myself because the IVs do great and they can make you feel good for quite a while, like a few days. And so this morning I woke up really nauseous and really gaggy and uh, just really weak. And so she came and gave me my IV this morning. And usually I get two full bags of hydration like right away and some medicine and stuff. And usually like halfway through the first huge bag of IV, I like, have to go pee because it's getting you hydrated. So your body's like starting to pee and stuff. I did not go pee <laughs> until the second bag was like almost gone. So I was extremely dehydrated, which is so weird because I've been drinking water nonstop. Like as you can see in my water cup, I always have a water cup right next to me. And I'm chugging water all day, but these babies just love water. I got super hydrated today and I'm feeling better. I'm just out of breath. So we're gonna go have a doctor's appointment for Flynn. He remembers Target from that one time we took him like a week or two ago. And yesterday he asked, he said, <sighs> Mommy. We need to go to Target and get a truck. And I was like, maybe tomorrow after your doctor's appointment. So I don't know if that's still part of the plan. We'll see. We're trying to not go like to stores too much. We're still in the middle of a pandemic and Flynn obviously cannot be vaccinated. And I'm pregnant with twins and we're just trying to be really, really careful and really safe. So I know a lot of people are just living life like it's the pandemic's over and I'm not telling anyone how they need to live their life. But for me, I'm still, we're still trying to be as careful as we can. So I'm like, uh, I don't know, but we'll see. Maybe we'll go. Why am I talking about this. I'm out of breath. I think I'm procrastinating. I need to get up. I want to get up. It's easier to just talk to you guys than to get up. I need to get up. Okay, I'm getting up. This is me getting up. Here we go. Oh, Lynn got a new truck. Whoa, holy smokes. That goes higher than there. Flynn got this new truck and uh, we're oh, listening. A commercial. A commercial? What the heck? Uh, we're listening to truck tunes, dancing while we play with the new truck. That almost just hit me in the face. Here, 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 grab it and look at the off. Take it off? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you, when we were at the beach yesterday, I got the worst sunburn. Look at that. <gasps> it hurts so bad. I'm used to sunburns. I've been sunburned so many times. Man, that is not comfortable. I didn't even realize it was it was like cloudy and cold. So I was like, my dumb brain just didn't think to put sunscreen on me. We put it on him, but not on me. Anyway, oh, the doctor went really well. Flynn is totally healthy and great. We had to check his heart and his heart looks amazing. So did you go to the doctor today? Yeah. Was the doctor nice? Mm -hmm. Did you like the doctor? But uh, just look at that guy. You just looked at daddy? Yeah. Yeah, you looked at daddy while he checked you with the stethoscope? And look what? at this. We bring it out the store. Yeah, we went to the store. And they were then at the Target. Yeah, at the Target, then we go at the Target. Yeah, did you like Target? Yeah. What was at Target? A big cream truck at Target. Yes. At Target. This is what he chose. Normally Flynn picks like smaller trucks and we could not get him to look at anything other than this truck. This was the only option in sight. Here's truck boy to help me carry some stuff. Oh, he needs help. Let me put this in the Okay. And help with you. Okay, we're gonna go help daddy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gotta go. It's gonna take me 10 minutes to stand back up. Tonight for dinner, we have chicken salad croissant sandwiches. I'm going crazy over here. I haven't made chicken salad in a really long time. And my version of chicken salad is I take a rotisserie chicken, rip it up, and put some purple sliced grapes in there, some slivered almonds that I toast a little bit, some celery, and some mayo and mustard, salt and pepper. Stir it up, it's pretty bomb. But I've never had it in a croissant style sandwich. We'll see how it is. 
I actually have to talk about this. Eric and I are fighting right now. And I have to talk about it because he's confident that he's in the right and I am confident I am in the right here. I am so frustrated. I thought that tonight it sounded good to have like strawberries and Cool Whip. Like that sounded like a nice summery dessert, right? Eric went to the store to get those ingredients and then he was like, ooh, strawberries. He told me this when he got home. I saw strawberries and Cool Whip. That sounds like such a nice summery dessert. So I actually got these pastries to put them in. Doesn't that sound good? And I was like, dessert yeah. Dessert shells. Dessert shells. And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't sound good. He's like, yeah, it sounds so good. Yes, thank you. These are delicious. So then I get up and I like make the strawberries. I like put sugar in them, let them sit in the sugar so they get all like yummy. I get the Cool Whip back because so you have to let the Cool Whip thaw. I let all the ingredients sit and then I like go in and make myself one. Like 30 minutes later, I come and sit down and I am explaining to him how I made the strawberries with the gel in it. He's like, oh, really? That's interesting. You can do that? I was like, yeah. And then I was like, I left all the ingredients out in case you want one. He said, oh, okay, cool. You never said that. I did say that. And you said that. And you even admitted that you've had that conversation with me 10 minutes ago. You just admitted that you had that conversation with me 10 minutes ago. So then he gets up to the kitchen and he sees all the ingredients out. And he hasn't had one yet. Earlier when I made it, I was like, should I put these away? And I was like, no, Eric said he wanted it. He said it sounded really good. He bought a pastry thing for it. We were talking about how I left all the ingredients for him to go make one for himself if he wanted one. You know, 15 minutes later, he gets up and goes in the kitchen. And he's like, I love that you left all this stuff out. And I was like, yeah, what in case, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> your impression of me is so what, are, what did you say? I just, no, I just said like, oh, the cool out and it's all like melty. You didn't Something, say, you didn't say like, that. Like, you didn't say you, that. You, and you, <laughs> you didn't say anything about the cool -ups. You said, you made some comment about how like I left everything out. Yes. And I said, yes, because you said you wanted some. You said and he said, said, you said, you said you no. Said you're welcome. I didn't say you're welcome. I said, it's because you said you wanted some. And then he said, no, I don't. Me, the guy who doesn't eat sweets. What? I acted like I was crazy for thinking he wanted some. And he's like, you just left it out because you're a mess, which I am. And I admit this. I'm a disaster. You said you left it all out because you leave you everything out. out. Yes. You, you live your life in a way you, you cook as if you don't have to do the dishes. Okay. That's a metaphor for like how Sure. I think that's life. fair and fine to say. I'm a very messy person. I totally agree with that statement. 100% that is true. But in this situation, I love the ingredients out because my husband said, that sounds really good. It sounds like a great point, summer dessert. Yeah, so I good. even bought this pastry for it as well. And then even when I was making the strawberries, I remember, you know, you were saying like, oh, here she goes, round two. You got all excited about the strawberries and the cool one. And then now he's acting like I'm a crazy person for thinking he wanted some. And he's like, I don't eat sweet. I don't like sweets. You and you're trying to act like you left these out for me to eat sweets when in reality you just left them out because you're a dirty person. That was my point. My argument was that like you left some stuff out and I said, oh, you left all this out. And you, and you go, you're welcome. You're essentially saying, I didn't say you're, you're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. I never said you're welcome. I said, because you said you wanted some. That is what I said. And you were like, me, the guy who doesn't eat sweets. And I was like, yeah, you said it sounded really good. You're a messy, you're a messy person, you leave a mess. I do, yes. And I'm like, hey, you left a mess. And you're like, yeah. This time it was for you though, you're welcome. I didn't this, say that. I also, said like, because you argument, said you wanted to. I'm in the background cleaning up. I know. I agree with you. No one is arguing that I'm a disgusting, messy person. I'm a very messy person. And 99% of the time, if you bring up that I left a mess out, I go, oops, sorry, yeah, I did. This is the one time ever where I've been like, yeah, I left it out because you said you wanted to eat some. And you had such an issue with me saying that. You're like, no, you didn't. You left it out because you're messy. He thinks I'm lying. He thinks I left the mess out because I'm just dirty and messy. He doesn't believe me when I say, yeah, when you said that sounds really good and you bought additional ingredients for it that you said sounded really good and you were excited when I was making it, all those things led me to believe that you would like some. And so I left it out so you could try it. I am a messy person, but it's infuriating to me that you can't just admit. So I'm not mad. I'm infuriated. <laughs> <laughs> that you aren't willing to just be like, yeah, I did make it sound like I wanted some. And I see why. It that is why you left out the ingredients because no, you thought no. I wanted some. You, you, That's yeah. what I'm frustrated with, that you the won't say that. The that you're interpreting is that like, I was excited to care for my pregnant No. Wife, <laughs> to get her like additional ingredients. Her Nobody says. Ingredient. It wasn't for me. I don't need Who? I don't, I don't have a sweet tooth like you. I don't, I don't Who on planet that. Earth says, that sounds so delicious. That sounds like such a delicious summer. Oh, it sounds refreshing. Who says those things and the other person they're talking to thinks, well, they're not going to want it though. Only I, they're saying I'm that because saying, they know I will I'm want not it. Saying you should. <laughs>
<laughs> Who says I don't know that? What saying. You should think that. What I'm saying is that, like, I was just like, <laughs> I got you the stuff that was nice to you. Like, then you were making it. I wasn't like, ooh, yeah, let me get some. Like, I'm so excited about it. I didn't get up to get it. I then get up and it was all left out. And you were like, oh, yeah, I left it out for you. Right? It's because you when said you, you wanted some. Leave everything out. I do. Oh. So here, I can say, I understand how you could think that I just left it all out because I always leave everything out. So I completely understand how you could see that mess and be like, oh, she just left a mess for me. Like, I understand how you could see that. But I'm explaining to you that that was not my intention. My intention was he wants some. He said it sounded good. So I'm gonna leave this for him to make one for his own. And you refuse to pay me the same service now and say like, I understand why you left it out. But I, I thought that you left Don't it out. Don't accept your premise. <sighs> so stubborn. I'm not gonna like give in. Like You're so like, stubborn. So, so even though I've explained it to you a hundred times, what do you, mean? you, what do you, you won't mean? admit that maybe I left it out because I, I thought you wanted some? Is that what you need me to say? Yes, I want you to say, and be like, oh, you want- Thank you. Thanks for leaving the cool about- I never said I wanted you know, to thank you. It just all started because I was laughing because I thought it was funny that this time you were like, the reason I didn't clean up after myself was a gift to you. I never said that. I said, you said you wanted some, which you did. I never said I wanted some. I said, that sounded, when you texted me what you wanted me to get from the grocery store, I was like, oh, that sounds nice. Oh, and I'll additionally get her these dessert shells. Nobody was mad that like the mess was there. I just thought it, it was wasn't a mess. It was there for you to make a dessert. I just thought it was funny that amongst all the chaos, because there was, Eight other things. That yes, just all that I left out because I'm a dirty mess. That you're like that. That I, I just thought it was funny. I thought it was. That's. I was. I was laughing. Uh huh. Because you said it was for me. It was. <laughs> You said you wanted some. I mean, it's insane so. It's so frustrating. You guys tell me in the comments your opinions on this conversation because I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I thought it was funny. I just thought it was funny that like there's... The, the... But you don't believe me that I left it out for you to try it. No, I don't. <gasps> I think you left it out because you always just leave everything out. I want to scream. Why would I lie about this when I never lie about how messy I am? It doesn't make any sense that I would lie about this one thing. Why would I lie about coming to the conclusion about you wanting to try it when you said you wanted to try it? How is that a lie? Like you literally said you wanted to eat it. <laughs> so why is I that? I said I wanted to eat it. I said, I said, when you text me like that sounded like a nice refreshing summer dessert. So exactly also, that. So Let's leave me got, to believe that you want to eat it. So I also got you this, not us, not like we're going to have this. Not like You did not say these. I got you this. You held them up and you were like, how good would it be in these? The pastries. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank I you don't need to thank you. Pizza. It's insane. Because these I are the things we fight about. You don't that believe that I left the stuff out for you to try. As a courtesy to me. Yeah. Not as a courtesy because you you told me you, it sounded delicious. So of course I'm gonna leave it out. It's just that's the part that's frustrating me that you you cannot admit that like the things you said maybe made me believe that you would want to try it. So I've left out the food so that you could try it. And I've explained this multiple times, and you still are like, nope, you're just a mess, and that's why you left it out. I never said any of those things. I just thought it was funny that like you. So why did I leave it out? Why did I leave out the strawberries and whipped cream and pastries? Why do you think? That's just how you roll. That's just like, what do you mean? You guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> I came up to start editing and like putting the footage on the computer and Flynn woke up and I heard him going, mommy, mama. So I ran to his room and he just wanted to tell me that he wanted to go through a car wash. And he was talking about a car wash and then he was talking about his nightlight and I just couldn't get him back to sleep. So finally I get him back to sleep and then it takes me forever. And then I leave and I come back here, I start editing again. And then I hear him go, mommy, mommy. Like, and I come in there, he's sitting up in bed and Daisy's in his bed, meowing. And he goes, Daisy's in here. And I was like, oh, he's like, Daisy woke me up. Daisy was like right by his face, like meowing. So it took me 45 minutes to get him back to sleep again. And now it is two in the morning. I so so much work to do. Anyway, I have a question um, for all the twin mamas out there. So if you're a twin mama, if you are pregnant with twins, if you are having twins, if you have had twins, if you are a twin, you can ask your mom. I have a question. I am very overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. Like beyond excited to have these babies and to have twins. And I feel really lucky that I get to have twins and I'm really excited about it. But 
I'm also extremely overwhelmed because I've had a baby before and I know how stressful it is and how scary it can be. I can't believe I'm gonna do two at the same time. Like it was a full-time job breastfeeding Flynn. It was like feed Flynn and then I would then put him to sleep and that would take a long time and then it would be like diaper change and then um, feed Flynn again and it was just like a constant cycle of like I was a milk machine which I loved and I was grateful I got to do but like it was really hard having a newborn and I don't see how it's possible to have two at the same time. <laughs> And I'm really scared of it, and I'm really stressed about it. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited to have two babies, but I'm just wanting some advice, I think. Did anyone else out there struggle with these thoughts of like fear and being really overwhelmed? When I think about the cuteness of having twins and how they're gonna be friends and like grow up together and how cool it is and like all this stuff, like I'm excited. But then when I think about like the actual logistics of like taking care of two brand new babies at the same exact time while having a toddler, while having a full-time job is extremely overwhelming and um, sometimes too much for me to handle, but just the thought of it. So I think I need help. <laughs> I need advice. First of all, have any of you ever gone through this or are you going through this just to know that I'm not alone? Two, what advice can you give me on just that whole process? And three, what products can you recommend? Because every app I can find, every chat room I can find, every board I can find online or on my phone is for people who are having one baby. Like these are the products to get and I've had one baby. So like I know the things I'm supposed to get and I know the things I'm supposed to do for having one baby. But I can't find anything for people with twins. Like I've looked on like message boards and apps and stuff for like twin moms who are due the same time as me and I can't find anything. I can't find other moms talking about the stuff. I don't know, even just like the whole twin pregnancy, just how overwhelming it is and how like all of my symptoms are doubled and how I have to go to the doctor feels like every single day and I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining. I'm just looking for support and advice. And I'm starting like, every time I tell someone I'm having twins, they're like, oh, then you're having a C-section and oh, they're gonna come early and twins have problems and like are higher risk or whatever. And like those thoughts are freaking me out. I'm like, oh. Like I'm fine with having a c-section or natural birth like I'm happy to do any of it I think it's all magical and amazing, but just I've never had a c-section So that's new and, and I'm like what if that's what happens and it's all just really overwhelming There's just a lot like I've seen like a lot of twin moms have to go on like bed rest at the end and like I don't know I'm just getting overwhelmed and I'm already like I feel like I'm already getting so big My bump is so big and I'm like what am I gonna look like in five months? Like am I gonna be able to stand up? <laughs> so I'm just looking for some advice and support so if you you are a twin mommy, know a twin mom, have a twin mom, if you're pregnant with twins or multiples, please help me. Are you serious? It's gonna be a long night, kids. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home, but now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.